and it's all on the line for Gambit. They have to fight back now, tooth and nail, or they are done. It is the end of the line. Yeah, that's the tough part. Everything on this, no more mistakes for Gambit. We're gonna get live into the pistol run here. Countdown expiring. G2 waiting in the grand finals of the PGL Major here in Stockholm. That's amazing. As waiting well. for the winner of this one. Imagine Simple versus Nico. And here we go, pistol round. And we're live, we're in the thick of it. And it's going to be Navi starting on the CT side, Gambit on the T side. Gambit get to set the pace, and then Simple, he's not waiting around. He's already taken Shiro out of the fight. Man advantage for Navi in this pistol. And they have yet to show anything here, Gambit. Only a single man spotted. They're going to hear the footsteps, though. Hobbit stomping around in mid, trying to draw some attention to himself. This alerts Simple. At least he's going to be able to communicate that over to his teammates. But the setup is here, and Bowmitch and Electronic already finding the headshots. Gambit are walking right into a wall in the first round of this map already. <laughs> Simple is merciless. He's going for a third. And he's going to get it. Navi! What a dominant pistol round here to start off Mirage. I don't even think they took any damage. That's the worst way to get things started if you're Gambit coming out of that first map. It's like, all right, boys, let's get started on the right foot. Let's win this pistol run. And they get shut down every step they take. Dude, that right. one hurt so bad. Nefani had a little, like, half smile going where it's just like, ah, ouch. Yeah, what can you do? Just in immediate headshots from everybody on the Navi side. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> all right, one to nothing. Now up against, uh, I mean, really just the MAC-10 for the Gambit side. They invest in one weapon armor as well. Okay, then. Oh, man. When was the last time we saw this? Do you no way do they think this is going to work. I was about to say, if this is going to be the OG fake into bomb plants on the other side, oh, man, please, this is going to be insane. The only, right. the only way this works is if they get kills at this B bomb site. They need yes. at least one, probably two. And I don't really know if they have what it takes to get it. Just the MAC-10. That has armor to protect against some utility damage. And actually, an odd timing for Perfecto, but Bit is holding a line. Two kills, and that's it. Boomich knows not to move. Yep. He knows not to do anything. His teammates aren't calling out the bomb, and this is going to be the easiest kill of his life. Sucks to see. There's a reason why that doesn't usually work, or why teams started to fall off of it. There's too much discipline now. In the early days of CSGO, that was a strategy that we actually saw quite a bit, yeah. because players would over-rotate so quickly off of bomb sites. As soon as there was action, they were already rotating off the bomb site, and you had a chance to just slip out of the apartments and get that bomb planted. But the teams are too disciplined now. They're too long in the tooth. So going into it now, third round, this is going to be the buy. A little light on the side of Gambit. They're not going to have as many nades as they would like because they didn't get the bomb planted. No bonus money. It's early aggression in mid. Just basic control behind the boxes. A little bit of nade damage follow up. Ooh, simple. That was dangerous, but done from him. He's going to stick around. He wants to fight it. Actually dinked up through the wall. Might back away now. AK's on the board as well for Gambit, so he's got to be cautious. And he's going to sneak all the way through the B-bomb site, falling back every step of the way. So early success for Gambit, taking control of mid and forcing Simple back without losing a whole lot. Indeed, limiting that information for Na'Vi. Now Na'Vi are going to kind of left wondering what is in store for them. Let's see if they can make an information play here. A minute left on this clock. It's about now where Navi are going to want to try to figure out what's coming at them. Semple still keeping an eye on mid. He's hearing these footsteps, so he's, he can communicate this over to his teammates. And here it is, Electronic with a push down ramp. Now they're going to see that nothing is over here towards A. And this could be the giveaway. Perfecto kind of falling back, closing off that angle towards B apartments. He's got his teammate bit there to watch his back as well. I think Naphany just, yeah, he wants to give it. This is a little bit of a fake again. That kill would have been everything, but he wanted to give the impression like pressure was going to be here combined with Hobbit to soften up this B defense. It didn't work. There's the first kill. It goes to Inters. Low on HP, and he looks like he's got Simple box in. Looks like he knows he's there, but it doesn't matter. Simple still alive, and there's Perfecto making the SMG work. Hobbit is going to come up, and this is a tough position to clear. Perfecto gets aggressive. He's got the bomb site, and Hobbit's got no HP and no time for the one on two. With 10 seconds left on this clock, he has to get in here quick and hope that somebody's going to step out into the open, but Navi are playing this perfectly, closing off the angles, whittling this guy down. He has no health left to play with, and no time either. The round is over, and now it's all about surviving it. Can they hunt him down? Perfecto's going to deny him at the last second. Hobbit, because he survives the bomb time, or the timer, 
He gets no money going into this round. That's a god tier 2v1 from Navi, just letting him live if that's what he wants to do. Hobbit never aggressed onto the bomb site, waiting for those peaks and not able to connect. And that is disaster. Hobbit's going to be stuck on $300. Brutal. Brutal start. As hard a start as you can get here for Gambit on this map. Navi's map pick as well. So Navi are going to be feeling comfortable. They got everything going their way right now. And Gambit, well, if you were asking for as difficult a situation as possible to fight your way into the Grand Finals from, I'm getting the feeling that this is it. Because Navi just look so cool, calm, and collected right now. Big spread coming in here from Gambit, trying to maximize uh, their map coverage. But this is a round of eco for them. They don't really have a whole lot to work with here. Just the standoff now is... Uh, Gambit are going to start working their way in. Bomb is still going to be tucked away top mid with a minute left on the clock. In standard game, be fat, Gambit fashion, they're going to just run it down and see if they can get more utility out of Na'Vi. That's the name of the game for them. Simple rewards Nafani with a bullet to the dome. And Boomich spots out ramp, immediately rotates around to keep an eye on connector. It's going to be so hard for Gambit to get a bomb plant here. Yeah, these are just easy kills as well. I think the problem in this round for Gambit is these are just like, you're just walking into fights with these Deagles and hoping you win them. And in that sense, you're not even getting any kills on the Na'Vi side. They're going to be able to build up so much money through this opening in this in this first half. Four to nothing. $10,000 already on Perfecto at the beginning of this round. There's only three kills on Gambit in these, in these first four rounds. They're not even finding all the frags that they would like. This is brutal to Moses, start. Right now, would you call a timeout? No. Your Gambit? No. No, no timeout. You got to trust what you talked about between the maps. You've got the guns in your hand as well. You've only really had one round where you were fighting with four AK-47s. So put some trust in the players. Let them play the game a little bit early on. Electronic's going to push up. Some spam through the smoke. Oh, and he's blinded. Vision wasn't clear. nathan has got an entrance. Here we go. Ideal start to this round for Gambit already. And now they're, all, they're not wasting any time at all here, Na'Vi. Already making an info play on the other side of the map. Perfecto could pull a fast one here. He's got Simple to back him up as well. Just hoping that Gambit are going to walk into this. And they may get rewarded for their patience over here. Axel's thinking about it. Definitely aware, Gambit, that with Na'Vi being a man down, they're going to try and get frisky on the extremities of the map. It is an option for them. But with a minute 10 on this clock now, it's all about Gambit rotating back around, gathering up, and getting ready to execute onto a bomb site here. Do you reckon they go early so that they have a bit more time to move with? It's possible. I, I mean, they can just walk up right now with the cover of the AWP over the top of the stairs. Boom, which has one. Shiro doesn't react quick enough. He's got good damage. And Bit is still waiting. If he can get any help from his teammates, any flashbangs so he can peek out. Simple is coming around. Smoke to give him some cover, and Bit's got a double. The Molotov doesn't do its job until it's too late. And the Navi defense once again holds strong. Not a gap for Gambit to work with. These guys are running headfirst into a brick wall right now, it feels like. There are, there's nowhere for them to go. Nothing but death facing them down at every corner. And now we are going to get just a little bit of... Uh, it's not even going to be the tack timeout called here by Gambit. They're just going to continue taking the beating. I was going to say, to answer your, your previous question, now I call a timeout. <laughs> now you call a timeout, yeah. yeah. You would think at some point Gambit needs to start trying to take a breather here. This, I mean, some of these, some of these do seem like there's an element of, I mean, I know the death touch on it, it's always been a talking point, the young nerves. Not waiting for the Molotov to force Bit out into the open. And man, this is getting mental warfare from Na'Vi, obliterating everyone, showing no quarter. Pure power plays coming through here from Na'Vi. Five kills total in six rounds for Gambit. <laughs> and Simple just looks like he's loving life right now. And there we go. Tactical timeout called. First one of the half for Gambit. 6-0 lead for Na'Vi. And enough is enough. They, need to feel, they feel like they need to take a little bit of a breather here. So Coach obviously taking a chance here to try and talk up his players. Blade is going to be taking the similar opportunity on the other side. And while well, Na'Vi right now are just looking utterly unstoppable. This is a huge task that Gambit have on their hands now going into the remainder of this half. They need to just put a halt to this aggression from Na'Vi, but I'm getting like G2 vibes from Na'Vi right now. 
G2 versus Nip were just, G2 were just relentlessly pummeling Nip, just constantly looking for fights, constantly pushing everywhere, never letting Nip get their game plan going. I get the same feeling here from Navi, where they're like, we're not even going to let you play your game. We're just going to constantly run at you. Well, let's, I mean, Gambit's going to have to fight back. That's certainly what's going on in these first six rounds. We'll see if Gambit can find a way to pull it off. Standard default so far, smokes in mid. And Gambit just looking for aggression everywhere. Patient stuff over here from Gambit, and I like this little play here from Electronic. It's worth throwing it in once a half. And cross your fingers and hope that they're going to hit that B bomb side and that you can be effective up there. But for now, quick rotations coming through here. Axile going to start clearing out underpass. So can start, start to get that bottom and top mid crunch coming in here from Gambit so they can get some control and open up access to Connector. Bit is definitely keeping an eye on things though. With a minute left on the clock, this slow play from Gambit is agonizing. All the timing. He's lucky. I thought Simple was going to keep pushing forward. Simple's going to back away now. And Gambit is closing in towards this A bomb site. Two players coming up connector. Two on the ramp. Make that one. And Simple's going to be zoned in. The peak from Palace could be everything, but now it's Bit's turn to be put into play. Misses an opportunity. Falls all the way back. Simple again with the kill. Finally put down. Good double from Inters. Into a three on three. That Molotov into Khan was so slick, though. So just puts a halt to him. What a shot from Shiro. Had to happen. And, well, this is just all over. This round, what are you going to do? Perfection here from Nefani. No idea, Bit. He never knew what hit him. Electronic now going to be caught in a 1v3 with the bomb planted. And no reason for Gambit to peek him at all. They know where he has to go eventually if he wants to have a chance at winning this round. So now the name of the game here for Electronic is to get out of dodge and hold on to this AK by the looks of things. This is good though. I mean, if you're Gambit now, you can you can breathe a little bit easier. You've got your first round on the board. Mm -hmm. You found some things that work. Inters finds a great timing coming out of Palace. The double entry there is magnificent. It's everything they needed in that moment. Now it's about stringing them together. Now it's about doing it one more time. Shiro also, just that was the hero shot on CT that saved them. The flames go off, bomb has exploded. And well, Gambit now with one round on the board, showing some fight here in this first half of Mirage. Of course, they'll be able to get fully equipped again, no problems there on that side, and Navi had plenty of money as well. So it's gonna take more from Gambit to break Navi's economy and start getting some easy rounds on the board. I'm curious to see if we see a change of pace coming out here from Gambit or if we just keep going into the default hold everywhere and wait for Navi to make plays. Looks like we are gonna just get stuff. What the Ooh. Hobbit, what? Did he drop off by accident? No way did he drop off by accident. That's a great shot from Boomich. Unreal. Five on four for Navi. And Gambit's gonna start looking towards the other side of the map. Shiro, Naphne, and Axile all together to work in towards B. They have left a lurk that's in turns towards A. And at the moment, he's not doing much. And he might just be out of this fight. I think a lot of this is going to be on this three-man hit. Oh, man, if he just throws a little, a little more juice on that HE there, Perfecto, that would have been an insane nade. But he is going to get to help here from Bit. Simple lines up a shot. 15th kill for Simple so far this map. Outrageous performance from him. Bit takes Axile. And it's just Shiro left alone on B. Enters in mid, does catch out Electronic, and Shiro trying to make a difference over here, trying to dance on top of it, but he is going to get forced into the open, and Perfecto takes control of the bomb, enters alone now, and, well, not for long. Bit has mercy, puts him out of his misery quick, and Navi are just looking indomitable on this defense right now, 7-1. to one. Not just that, but individually, the Gambit players look labored at the moment. They looked really uncomfortable in these situations. There's no flashbangs, there's no Molotovs, there's no smokes, there's nothing actually putting any pressure on the Navi defense. They get a fight with complete comfort. <laughs> look at that ADR. 169 ADR from Simple right now. That's not bad. You <laughs> take those. And then you got Bit. It's a 1-2 combo right now. He's at 132. The, between the two of them, they're shredding Gambit. And right, right back into the same sort of a similar strategy here from Gambit. One on ramp, one in pass, nobody in mid. And here they're going to try and speed things up with the B bomb side. Bomb is making its way there slowly behind, but they've got a player out on B. Nice shot there from Simple. Perfecto spots the man at bench. 
They can't catch a break here, Gambit. No, they really can't. They're going to have to create one, although they have found an opening. This has been, I don't want to say it's a fake, but they've executed plan B. They've been able to take over the A-bomb site. The bomb is rotating all the way around. Problem is, they're not finding kills anywhere. Inters is going to accomplish absolutely nothing here. He's just trying to stay alive as long as possible. Maybe when these smokes clear, he might be able to get at least one. But even that's kind of ambitious, ambitious at this point. They don't even know where the AWP is. Electronic is looking towards jungle. I think as it made its way onto the bomb, onto the bomb site, they're going to know now. Inters catches Perfecto. Electronic caught in the open Hobbit with a valuable kill. And now they need to figure out how do you deal with Inters? Oh, this is so weird. I don't know how Gambit's made this happen, but it's actually perfect. Inters is somehow still alive and he might be able to find one more kill. This is magnificent. So much time halfway through the bomb timer. This retake has got to be very quick. Plenty of kits to use. They do have a lot of a bit more time on that side for Navi. They have some grenades to use as well. Smoke onto the bomb. Shiro's on the other side of it though. No mollies or HEs to get rid of this guy. They're gonna have to go in here and do the do it point blank. Shiro looking for the spray. Oh, no. Not like this. Boomich gets denied. And they're running out of time. Simple, of course, he has to get the knife, but that's not gonna get them the round. Gambit with two. But what a round. And maybe this is Navi getting a little ahead of themselves. Remember earlier when I was saying, you know, they're not rotating off the bombs quick, right? That's a, that's a quality that these players have now. That time, Na'Vi just took the bait hook, line, and sinker. Yeah, that felt that felt very gimmicky, very improvised, but obviously a Gambit at this point is going to take whatever they can. Small consolation prize for Simple. The knife in the semifinal. It's a five-round lead for Na'Vi's defense. Still got plenty of money in the bank. And man, one name we have to bring up again, Axile, 0-9 here so far in Mirage. And he's so important for Gambit. Surprise, surprise. That is so crazy simple that he gets out of that intact. Down to half health, but another opening kill goes the way of Navi. That's a risky play. He's rewarded for it. He's won all of his opening duels so far. He's 4-0 and oh in opening duel simple. There isn't really anybody touching him on this server. He's got 18 kills with three look at deaths. What, look at what Gambit have to play with. They've got a Molotov, a Flashbang. They just used their final smoke. Everything from here is just going to have to be a heads-up fight. This is going to be so scary when these smokes finally clear in middle and Gambit realize they're just exposed everywhere. They have nothing really to put their players in any kind of an advantage situation. They have connector control. They have catwalk control. And if they keep pushing, they're about to have T's. And there's Shiro dead. What is oh, this? Oh, no! Boom, it shakes him! Boom gets dropped. They run into each other head on. And Boom, reacts fast enough to get the kill. <laughs> Enters. At least he'll take Electronic out. But it's still a 2v4. How has that happened? That's unbelievable. <laughs> and yeah, you might have the bomb site, but you don't have the bomb. Simple towards spawn stairs. Boomich is protecting it in T-spawn, and even with Simple going down, there's not enough time. 15 seconds on the clock, and you still have to deal with Boomich. And you still have to get the bomb and get back to the site. And it's going to be an eighth round for Navi. Gambit are giving it up because they know it's over. Now it's about survival. Oh boy. Are they going to be able to, though? Perfecto is here. The AWP picked up, and he just, yeah, he slow walks into that angle. Axel's going to hit that shot every day of the week. So they get out of there with Simple's AWP. That's a nice trophy. A single AK saved as well, but they were hoping for the round. And instead, that's back-to-back -back knives in a semifinal of the major. What's going on here? This one, I mean, the Boomich one is very weird. Very strange. You don't see that too often. Navi oh, Chan getting up there, yep. What a round from Navi. And a tactical timeout called again here for Gambit Esports. Enough is enough. They need to start trying to figure out what is the solution here because this is so crazy. Running into each other head first. Yeah, and he has no idea who got there. I mean, it's, it's quite obvious when you see it occur. <laughs> Boomich's reaction is the best. He's been a fan favorite since, what, Quantum Bellator Fire back in Boston? Dude, he's nicknamed Snoop Dogg. <laughs> 19 and 3 on Simple. A six round lead for Navi. Just eight rounds away from the grand final where G2 awaits them. And uh, G2 watching this right now have got to be pulling at their collars because uh, this is uncomfortable. 
Navi are just looking fantastic. And one thing that G2 could have going their way, though, is that Navi will have shown their hand on Mirage. They won't be running into this head first G2 if Mirage comes up. Now there, there won't be that element of surprise anymore. Advantage of uh, playing the first semi-final of the day. But of course, Navi have to get the job done here before we get ahead of ourselves. It's still Gambit we're talking about. Gambit absolutely capable of running it back if they can get their heads in this game. Start getting some kills on the board. We're 10 rounds in and you've still got half the team rocking two kills. There's only uh, Inters who's got seven. So I need to see Gambit wake up and the smokes come in. It's going to be an A execute. Running straight into the bomb site. Boomage gonna find one, a second one as well. Nearly no. picks up a third before Axile can put an end to his shenanigans. That's huge. Two kills while playing retake. Now the next point of danger is Nafany lurking from the underpass, and he's gotta hurry up because his teammates are dropping like flies. And he's gonna be put into play, I think, a little bit too late. Pit misses the timing. There's the headshot. Two on three. A chance to recover for Gambit, but they've got a lot of work to do. Hobbit at least has control of the bomb. This discipline from Simple, though, not overextending. You saw just how close it was to that angle. And instead now, he's going, did he not see the op barrel? Oh, he sees it now. He sees it now, tries to take the shot, jumps right into it, and Fanny was waiting. It was a trap. Perfecto and electronic now. Last two alive for Navi going into this retake, and if Gambit find a way to win this round somehow after all this, that would be a huge victory. Yeah, that might have been a bit too much from Simple. He might have overextended there. A heat check. Nafany waiting. Good shot from Hobbit with the AWP. Perfecto now going to move in. Smoke dropped on the bomb. And he's going to get desperation. He might just stick it, taps it, forces him out into the open, and Nafany jumping across has found the final kill. Third round for Gambit as they try and fight back into this map, into this series. Indeed, into this series. They've got their backs to the wall. They're already down a map in this best of three. So this is it. There's no backing up here. If you lose this map, that's it. You're going home. You made a top four in the major, but you did not make it to that grand final. And Gambit are a team. I mean, the players that you would expect to see in a major grand final, considering how they performed throughout this year. Well, the, there's more good news for Gambit. They, they finally, well, while they dug themselves a deep hole, they're on the verge of digging themselves out. They need this round. There's no money left on the Navi side after this buy. What a way to get back into the map if you could complete this, if you could break the economy. And they're going to have to do it the hard way. Four on five. Boomich is available to be the equalizer, though, when this smoke eventually does clear. Hobbit's trying to find his legs. Find any gap in that smoke. Perfect timing for the Molotov, and that's going to isolate Hobbit. No chance for the trade. No chance for Shiro to spring into action. And it's all too easy for the Navi defense. It's so beautiful. It's just one step after another. They, they're playing so well together as a team. Navi covering for each other in every way. Shiro powerless to help his teammate. Well, oh, that's a beautiful headshot from Axile, but Electronic immediately trades it. Down to Shiro now in a 1v4. And Electronic mercilessly ends him. 9-3. to three. And as you pointed out, Moses, this was the golden opportunity for Gambit to get back into this. They could have broken Navi's economy finally, and instead Navi once again managed to find a way to get through. Yeah, it goes the other direction. That's tough for Gambit. I think that was the I think that was the only opportunity they have to get back into this map. It's going to be so difficult now. It's going to be a very labored buy, a very labored investment from Gambit if they do in this round. <laughs> Too true. Too true. Touche. But uh, Simple right now has got 21 kills on this server, so... Um they need to find an answer for this guy. It's unreal, the level. It's actually so cool, though, because on the other side of things, we've got Nico with G2, and he was posting numbers of similar caliber oh, yesterday in the semi. He's been a freak in this tournament so far. That's oh, going to be... In the, nip, in the nip match in the quarters. That's going to be a really fun battle. This year for Nico has just been him reinserting himself in the best player in the world conversation, and, and what a fun way to see how that is going to end in the next match. If Navi can complete, complete Mirage, complete the 2-0 and make it there. Hall's pop coming in. Exile going to have utility. It's all on Lord Boomich. Stand for the Lord. And let's see if he is going to hold the line here because it's about to get real interesting. Flash over the top. He's not blinded. Going to spot them all going through. Finds one kill. Took him a while, though, and he's low on bullets. One of the disadvantages of using an A1 is when it gets frisky, it's going to get top, but he's still holding it. It's Boomich! Quad kill! Shuts down that push. He's having, what a monster. He's having the best time in the world. He's having so much fun out there right now. Every time you see him on camera, he's got a big smile on his face. He's loving it. 
I can't get over how good this guy is playing right now. Right behind. Well, he's second on the scoreboard for Navi, but they've all had their rounds. That feels terrific right now. And double digits again, Moses. 10 to 3 for Navi on the CT side. This is unheard of. Yeah. This is the most one-sided match that we've had so far. I mean, it's a combination of obviously Navi hitting a level of excellence. That's that's absolutely incredible. The preparation they've brought into this major, the players they have on the team, but also Gambit's gone very, very quiet. The Gambit we've seen all year has not showed up to the stage. Three kills on Shiro, three kills on Hobbit, four kills on Axile. Just not a lot of production coming in from this offense. Not at all. Not at all. This was uh, where we're getting some of the answers to the questions that we were wondering having, you know, coming into this major. Now that we're in front of the fans, that's the big difference, right? It's one thing to play on land. It's another thing to play on land in front of an audience on a stage with thousands of fans cheering. 10 to 3, and well, finally, Nefani able to put an end to Electronic's reign of terror, but it's still a man advantage for Navi in the round. Let's go, Navi! Navi chant continues. Yeah, for good reason. Perfecto waiting. Simple hunting. And he'll be there very quick on the flank. But still, that means Perfecto's got to hold out without any teammates. And he turns. Oh, what a spin back. That's so quick. I thought surely he was done. I think Exile thought the same thing. Perfecto's going to get another. Gambit's just lost track of him. They finally bring him down but it's oh so late. Simple can't even get in on the flank before his teammates kill everybody. He's got the perfect flank. He's just like, guys, stay alive. Stay alive five seconds. And then he's like, wait, oh no, never mind. It's fine. The damage has been dealt. 11 to three in favor of Navi. And well, we're getting a little bit of talk coming out here from the Gambit side of things. But this is utterly brutal for Gambit right now. Dominant first half for Navi as the crowd goes wild. This is going to be it. Last round of the first half. Gambit need to come up with the goods here. <laughs> and Electronic snuffs Hobbit immediately. This is, it feels so often they've been playing with the man down, and that's their player in middle. That's the flank. That's the lurk. And now everyone from Navi can just focus on these holes. Going out, Electronic. Perfecto's going to hide behind the smoke for the moment. Good crossfire setup. Electronic's got another. Three kills so far. He somehow survives long enough for Perfecto to get into the action. It's 12 to 3. <laughs> and there are no breaks here. We're going to get right into the action here in just a few moments. So don't go anywhere because we have the second half coming up. And now it's going to be a question of whether or not Gambit can get the lockdown going on their side. I don't think, I don't even think it's possible. Even, even if they were performing the way that we expect them to, I think Navi's looking very strong. They are. Navi, I mean, Speculation going into this tournament, you know, it's their tournaments to win. And right now, all, of the, all tournament long, they haven't dropped the map yet. Well, with the way they've been hyped up, it's their tournament to lose. They've, they've effectively been crowned already throughout this stage, but G2 has been looking phenomenal. Yes. But G2 showed that they were mortal in the semifinal by dropping a map. Navi don't even look like they're close to dropping a map yet. All tournament long, this could be it. The clean run, is it possible? 12-3, and we're about to find out. The pistol round's gonna kick off. Navi on the T side, and it's not wasting any time. Setting up for the B hit, or at least the smoke to sell the fake, because they have three players in underpass, stomping away, going for the quick rotation. Let's see, does this catch Gambit off guard? Oh, jumping up in towards window, Nafani. That's a hard shot to hit. You've got so many more bodies coming in. They manage a double peek out of it. One player did go down in the middle. That's the Axile on Catwalk. But Navi have great control of the map. They control the center. And they can actually slow down rotations no matter where they come from. Bomb's going to rotate all the way back towards A, and that's an important kill. Now Navi can feel real comfortable in these positions. And it actually forces Shiro to fall in towards CT spawn, which is going to make attacking the A-bomb site much easier if that ever does come into fruition. He's watching for the flank. Oh, he's removed simple, but instantly traded by Boomage. Inters and Hobbit, the last two alive here for Gambit. You do have the rotation coming in now from Inters. He's going towards that A-bomb site, and that's the last place he wants to be. The bomb is about to make its way onto the B-bomb site. He's worried about the flank. He's worried about Boomich coming in from the murder hole, but Boomich has just jumped over to Catwalk, and he's completely ruined everything. The mobility in this tactic, Navi taking control of Window, gave them so many options to get out of any situation they were put in, and they've taken advantage of it. And man, this might be just a clean win in this map. If Navi can take this pistol round, Gambit is all but sunk. 
Missed opportunity there from Electronic, though. Nerves perhaps showing a little bit here on the Navi side. Fine, Electronic snuffs him. And Hobbit does turn it into a 1v2, but Boomich again! You cannot lay the Lord low. What a monster. 17 and 3 now for Boomich. These multi kills have shot him straight up the scoreboard. 13 to 3 on the scoreboard. And well, this is Mirage, and this is Navi's map pick, and they are looking utterly terrific on it. Simple continues to be a menace with 24 kills. With 24 kills in 17 rounds. Utterly disgusting. And well, it's going to be the hard eco here from Gambit. Bit of a setup with the flash, I like to see it. Boomish on the flank, though, gonna catch it. There's a bit leading the way. Spots the man close, looking for more, not gonna find it. His teammates are gonna be there, though, with Perfecto with the cleanup. 14 to 3. It's a nice attempt from Gambit. The flashbang gave him a small opportunity, but everything is in this round. Bobby Chan going. Simple is a 7. Zero in opening duels. Seven wins, seven kills. Boomich has got four and zero. So I mean, uh, Navi right now are just always perpetually with the man advantage, getting that first kill of the round, opening it up, giving themselves everything they need here to get the lockdown going. After that hard eco though, Gambit now has some firepower. Extremely light on grenades, but if Shiro can start dropping bodies, that would change things up here for Gambit. Ooh, almost a conversion, almost an equalizer from Boomich. Exiles brought low, but a two-man advantage for Gambit. And Bit might be put into play underneath window. Galil in hand can find an avenue towards connector. With uh, the remaining three alive here for Navi, the one thing that they have going for them is that Gambit are light on nades. If there's any way for them to take advantage of it. It's not to say that they're filthy rich either, but they have more utility than the entirety of Gambit Combined, it feels like. So let's see, what are they capable of? Can they find an opening? 55 seconds on the clock. Arm rotating back over towards B. So hoping that there's going to be less of a defense over here. And in the meantime, Bit setting up his teammates. Molly on short, flash to follow. And a headshot. Instant death for Nefani. What are you supposed to do about that? Molotov towards Van. Exiles boosted up, so really a lot falls on this initial defense on Inters to be able to provide something. Bit slowly creeping up. He could provide the opening. They're not expecting it. No one's really looking here. He needs to clear the boost. Like, oh, he spots him at Van. Tapping away, he finds the head and converts onto Exile. Everything going wrong for Gambit. And Navi again have just found the winning recipe in the round. Utterly unreal that he spots that out. They have to go for this and it's everything. They, they have to go for this retake and if they lose it, it's essentially the series on the line. Hobbit jumping up goes down. Bit is incredible. Quad kill in the round for him and Navi have 12 chances to make it into the grand finals. This is it, Moses. What a performance. I mean, everything seems to be lining up for Navi as well. Just the fact that the player at Van jumps up just in yeah. time for Bit to do the double take and spot him. And, and even, then that shows the yep. boosted guy in the corner. <laughs> it's like nothing can go wrong. It's not like Inters and Exile misplay that in any way. It just aligns. But that's a great that's a great round to just encapsulate this entire series. That's a 3v5 that Navi just won with all three players surviving and just no problem. Simple's got another opening kill. Another this, one. This Navi is so scary. And if you're G2, you're getting to work right now. You're gonna be in bed early. <laughs> and up early. And all the prep you could possibly get because this is going to be an insane match. Navi, match point, man advantage. One round away from securing a spot in the grand final of the South Pole Major to face off against G2 in a best of three to settle it all. And Navi, man, simple, just one step closer soon. Let's see if he can do it. Bovich here to help out. They're going to get that mid control a little bit here, a little bit of a presence as Bit works his way through underpass. We're going to get the group together here as Navi once again. Players soon be four. And life is going to get real rough for Inters in a moment here. I think life's already been rough for Inters in this game. It's been rough for everyone on Gambit's side of things. Now they're not going to clear it. 
Drops a trade coming in and indeed. Simple pulls out the up. Now you have Exile who's just gotten here to find one, trying to keep Gambit alive into the series and holding on at the moment to the bomb site. Finds an awkward timing, but Perfecto is spot on. And Simple has yet to even be put into play and it's all over.